All right, welcome back, everyone, to a little bit more Sons of the Forest. And what are we doing today? We're actually not going to do anything today. We're going to do a little review and uh, just kind of talk about a few things as we go. So the whole objective of going through all of those caves. I mean, obviously, you can finish the game. We can finish the game now if we wanted to. All we need to do is go to the um, the resi oh, it was a residential bunker or whatever it is and uh, essentially finish the game. You just need you need the you need the golden armor which you which is required to finish the game. And you're also going to need um, so you need the first thing you need to do is go to, uh, what is it called? The, um, uh, I can't remember the cave number, but you have to go to get the, um, so right by the residential bunker is a cave. It's right across the lake. You have to go there and get the um, golden armor. That cave is miserable. It is so. It is. It's a bad. It's a bad cave. It's, be prepared to spend two hours in it. Like if you want to explore the whole cave, it's a two-hour journey. So, but we have everything that we need to actually finish the game. We haven't, and we haven't gone through all of the little caves and such. I wanted to grab some uh, meat off the rack. We haven't gone through all the caves in the game. We went through a good portion of them. Basically, we went through the progression line that you need to get the best weapon in the game. And there's no disputing that the katana is the greatest weapon on the planet nobody can change my mind it's the most fantastic thing in the world you just you chop guys up it's all choppable it's choppable stuff man so that was my that's our push to get the katana so i recommend you just go through just like we did all the little caves i, I went through them in in order that you need to go to get the things you need. And there's other caves we haven't, again, have not visited. And there's little, there's uh, blueprints and uh, things of that nature for you to grab. Come on. Jumpy jump. So make sure you go through the caves in order, just like I did. Oh my gosh. That's a fish. You can't eat. Oh, put that away. Oh, these are rotten. I hardly ever make the Kelvin special. It's not worth it. Let's go get our food from the racks. It's just simply not worth the time and expense to make all the uh, meals that they have. I don't think so, anyway. There we go. You want to be... You want to... Take your time throughout your explorations, especially if you're playing on pretty much max difficulty is what we're doing. Just take your time. There's no rush to the game. You don't have to hurry unless you're trying to you know, make some kind of a speed run. See all the cooking pots that we collected. This is all stews and such. You can. What I typically like to do in the winter time is have a, a rack of stews. And that way, you don't have to try to catch fish or anything. And then you take the empty pots, put them on your empty pot uh, shelves, and then you can just have water. And if you need, if you have, if you need. Uh, 
some fish. There's some fish for you. You can grab those. During the winter time, we also have plenty of food available, plenty of ropes available. And look at all the armor we have, all the arrows that we have, all the supplies that we have. We have all the things now in the game. Uh, rope on me. I have six rope, and I have three tape. So we'll make some more armor. Just play the game expecting lots of cannibals. Can I drop that? Oh, can't do that when I'm in this menu. Expect, if you're going to play on hard mode like we did, you can see how hard these these guys hit. It doesn't matter whether you're playing on normal mode or the hard mode. The same number of mutants and cannibals and such are in each building, I believe. I believe that's the case. So, the last bunker that we were in, if you're playing on normal mode, there's going to be that many um, puffies in there, and there's going to be, you know, what, what will we have? Four of the finger guys. Uh, you're going to need explosives, explosive solutions. You're going to, you know, just build all the things. Just take your time. There's no hurry for it. And I would advise, before you start on a big building project, to get the greatest weapon on the planet of this island. The greatest weapon on this island for personal combat is the katana. And then when you have the time, just go get the, uh, what do you call it, the plater thing? Whatever it's called. Where, where is that thing at? I think it's in... Um we need to go to cave five, uh, cave number two. It's called the Dead Cave. That's where you're going to find the pickaxe and the upgrade for the Forge Blueprint. It's right next to the Luxury Bunker on the map. Uh, right below Maintenance C. It's going to be kind of south. We can't see it on our map. The map doesn't expand that large from where we're at. We can't see it from here. But it's, it's up that way. So, um, I guess if you're after, once you finish up going to maintenance C, you can go south on the map and go to the, uh, get the pickaxe and the upgrade forge blueprint, blueprint. And, um, there's also one of the artifacts in there, from my understanding. And then... then you can upgrade your weapons. You can also upgrade your uh, armor too, your bone armor. Uh, but you're going to need sulfite, so you're going to need to get the pickaxe. So if you want to do that, if you want to stay playing in hard zone, in hard mode, uh, we will be doing this, by the way. We, we're, we are going to continue to play. Uh, but get all of your stuff together. Get your base done. Similar or something like this. Doesn't have to be exact. Again, Build it how you want. Spike the crap out of the place. And you can just see it kills. Oh, man. Slinky monsters? Who cares? Finger guys? Who cares? The only the only, the only things that are going to bother you are the uh, Kung Fu girls. The Kung Fu girls. I like them. They're, they're, they're funny. But uh, they're the only ones that going to bother you. They can jump up, up on top here. Now, the legsy guys, I believe, can. The, the guys, the leg monster guys. But if you're kind of careful, you can get them, you know, may, maybe you just build an extra extra high and then stand on top and do whatever you want. But he can jump. He can jump into your base. Just be aware of that. They're kind of rare. They do show up from time to time. I just would lure them into traps if possible. Helicopter trap. You'll have to go find the helicopter trap because you, uh, you don't have it by default. Yeah, see that we, we have to go get we have to go get the uh, helicopter trap. Just put like two of them next to each other. One and two, maybe three next to each other, and just lure him towards that. And he'll get chopped up pretty good. So, <clears throat> <laughs> kill him. 
Well, we always want to be gathering rope, and we always want to be gathering tape. No matter where you build, there should be a place that has tape or rope close by. I love this area the most because you have option to get tape over there, rope, and rope. And I, there's another camel camp over that way somewhere, too. Uh, the other really nice place, again, is the lake with a bunch of rivers going into it. That's a nice one. There's a good area kind of north, or well, I guess it's uh, south. See the north, the north indicator? There's a couple lakes up there. There's uh, some cannibal camps. Remember when we got the spear? A lot of rope up there. I don't know how much tape is there. I can't recall. But there should be some tape. Every time you log into the game, grab the tape. Just, <laughs> just grab it. Because if you're going to play on hard, if you're going to engage in combat, again, we're out of tape. If you're going to engage in combat, you're going to get smacked around. The last bunker that we did, you saw how the difficult that was for me. And again, I'm not the best player as far as combat goes. I just kind of, you know, spray and pray. <laughs> it's kind of my mentality. And then, uh, with this baby here, we'll chop an arm off, man. We'll chop an arm off. So, I love this. Uh, Katana is fast. Once you played it, it's even better. Um, using the axe is just slow and ponderous. It does a lot of damage, but you, uh, you can't maneuver with it very well. So, if you try to do a power attack with the axe, you know, if you use the axe, yeah, run up, use power attack on your first attack. Right? Use your power attack, sneak up to him. And then use your power attack, like we did. So we did that several times going throughout the caves. We snuck up on them, used the power attack, and then that pretty much throws a big chunk of damage on them. And then you can chop them up. Make sure your stamina is full when you're doing that kind of stuff, though. Uh, machete's great for the um, speed. You can stun lock enemies. Uh, you saw me do that several times, just um, especially the finger monster. Um, the finger monster can get up if you're trying to use the axe because your swing is so slow. But they have a real hard time of it getting up using the machete. So you just go out chopping out their knees. Uh, don't even bother trying to switch weapons and bring your axe out to do a power attack. Just keep swinging. <laughs> just keep swinging. Uh, some of the caves are going to be difficult without explosives. You saw that several times. I hate the caves in this game. Um because I don't think they're well designed for a good player experience and they're, cr they're, they're so cramped it makes fighting difficult uh, in them the bunkers I think they did a wonderful job with those um, that last bunker was brutal I, I almost had to bail on there I almost bailed on there and came, uh, to come back here to get some more armor but I, said, I, thought I, could, I thought I could do it I thought I could do it pulled out the shoddy and took care of it some explosives and took care of it. Uh, there, are, again, the Puffton fight uh, in the bunker, you're, the bunker, the entertainment bunker. Is it the entertainment bunker? Whatever it is. Um, you don't have to do that fight. Where you get Virginia's card, you don't have to do that fight. You can just turn around and leave. The, let's see here. I'm trying to go over my notes. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the, it's a food and dining bunker uh, where you get the VIP card, the crossbow. And you don't have to. You don't have to do that final fight. You can just turn around and go back the other way. I think you're going to miss is the uh, um, cutscene. That's it. Oh wow, we missed a cutscene. Oh, big deal. Uh, entertainment bunkers. We're going to get the uh, guitar, the chainsaw, the guest card. Um, and then I believe I haven't seen Virginia in a while. I can't remember where the summer dress. She's got a summer dress you can give her. I can't remember where that's at. I thought it was in the uh, that final room, but I, I may I probably missed it if it is. Uh, your first um, so in order. The first place you go is to the beach cave. 
that's where you're going to get your rebreather. I believe the stun gun is in there. I can't recall. Maybe. Um, and then you can get the uh, another piece there for the artifact thing or whatever it is called. Then you go to number the uh, the shovel cave to grab the shovel, and that's down south uh, on the well southish northish whatever it is. Uh, it's by the three. It's by a you know a, a lake. Uh, to this, the, the, the multiple lake, multiple river lake, and it's close to the, um, it's in between the mountains. Um, and then you go to maintenance uh, bunker A to get your firefighter's axe. You'll need the mate, that's where you also get the maintenance card, get the tuxedo, and a laser attachment there. Then you'll want to head over to grab the um, entertainment bunker. And maintenance B is optional. That gets you the compound bow. I don't use that as much in the game. I, um, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Headshot's a headshot. I only use a compound bow if you're going to be using the really good arrows uh, to penetrate armor. But if they're not wearing a helmet, just use your... Use your um, your crappy bow. Just use this thing. Headshot's a headshot. It'll kill every you know if they don't have a if they don't have the armor on their head except for the really big dudes. Uh, then you have to take multiple headshots with them. The crossbow will, with one shot I, in normal mode will kill him. One, if he's a crossbow uh, against the big guys, a one shot will kill him. I don't know. I haven't used the crossbow in hard mode. We'll find out. If it takes more than one shot, I don't know if it does or not. And so maintenance bunker B is optional. To you don't have to do that one. We did that one anyway. And then we went ahead and went to maintenance C to get the revolver. The revolver is actually pretty good as well. Uh, let's see here. There's the revolver. Uh, I've used this thing against the leg monsters, and I don't know if he was pre-damaged, but uh, in my other playthrough. I don't know if he was pre-damaged or not, but uh, it, it uh, took him down. You saw how it took 40 shots with the regular pi regular pistol to kill that guy. More than 40 shots. And I don't know how many it would take with a revolver. Uh, again, a shotgun, I think it takes like 10 shots to kill that dude. Don't waste your ammo. Don't waste your ammo. Just use a trap. Uh, save all your ammo. S save all your good ammunition. Save all your shotgun ammo for... Things like the, the bunker we were just at in the last episode. That will, you know, because there's, there's a limited amount of ammunition on the in the game. And the, once you've explored all the caves, the only way you're going to get more ammunition is through the little pouches. Those will get you a, a, ammunition from time to time. It's rare, but it happens. You'll get it from time to time. After you've explored the uh, entertainment bunker and you've gotten the guest key card... Then you can go all the way over to the residential bunker and get the katana, spacesuit if you want it, the mask, um, and so on and so forth. You're going to need the uh, guest key card. Um, you, know, you, need, you need the guest key card. Uh, and then you get the flashlight. I think there's a flashlight attached. There might be a pistol in there I walked by. Um, I think there was at one time. I can't recall. And then you can go to get your pickaxe. I'd get the pickaxe after that. Uh, and get your forge blueprint. Um, and then you can just kind of just wander around the map. Look for look for places. Now that you have the... Um, ah. <laughs> ah, you guys are idiots. What you doing? Oh. Oh. Lost an arm. Excuse me, sir.
Let's see if he gets up. No. I think I, I think I injured him with the explosive arrow. <clears throat> Anybody left? No, they, they've all wandered off. Hmm. Oops. Go back to our little area here. So yeah, uh, take just take your time. Make sure you bring explosives where you need them. Make sure you um, have the items that you need. Once you have the sword, once you have the once you have the sword and the crossbow, um, and the shotgun, game becomes easy, even on hard mode. It, it does. It's just we have a visitor over here. Whoa! What you doing? Oh, don't run away! Don't run away! Don't run away! <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Best weapon, combat weapon in the game. Uh, we'll do some more. We'll do some more uh, playing on hard mode. I'm going to show you guys that it's not that difficult. If you have your if you have your shit together, and when I mean your shit together, I mean all of your equipment that you need. What you have to realize is that you are going to be attacked a lot. Okay? You have to realize that. And if you're going to play on it... If you're going to play on hard mode with all the cannibals and their health and they hit harder... You have to be prepared. You have to have your armor. You've got to have your sword. You get have your shotgun for your bailout weapon if you need it last resort type thing makes sure, and then you can you know if you're having problems we are going to move we're not going to stay here by the way uh, we built this because it's just a good good spot for a beginner to go to in any in any scenario and once you have all of the things your tools you you can beat the game or you can play on construction mode or, or building basically building um, in the game whatever structures you want just realize you're gonna have to figure out a way to make sure that you can lure guys to an area for, with traps and spikes in them you're just gonna have to be careful and you know just, you're gonna get frustrated you're, you're gonna get guys coming at you three or four times in a day it it is what it is in in the hard difficulty enemies are tougher they wear more armor they hit harder sometimes you're gonna die and if you die twice in the same day i think it's the same day you uh well the game's you know you end the game well you have to restart so make sure you're saving the game. I save every night uh, when I go to bed. On the medium playthrough, I save like every hour. But on hard mode, every night before, right after I get out of bed in the morning, I save. So it's not a big deal. Like if you're going to lose something, you're only going to lose 30, 40 minutes of, of gameplay. And so, for example, let's, let's kind of use an example here. What I would be doing tactically, tactically speaking anyway, let's say, let's pretend I'm in a nation. I'm going to build over here. And I wanted to use uh, this area for building. Um, and it doesn't matter where you build. There's just tons of stone over here. I'm going to, I'm going to go over here. And uh, we're going to use the side of this, this river to build on. You'd build over there, wh wherever you want. So as an example, what you would want to do and if you want to see a home, a big home built, a protective home, I'm, we built it over there. 
in that area. But that it, it's a fully spiked home. If you want to do some big building in this game, what you're going to do, we need to do, is you're going to need to have your sleeping place. Your sleeping place above ground. Okay? Spike it up just like we did over there. Le build over there and then come over here during the daytime and build. You got your zip line. Jump on a zip line. Come over here and do your building. And then at night, go back. And then you can build your your permanent home structure here in this area. I'm using, I'm going to say we're going to build here. You could build your permanent home here. You're going to have to spike the ex exterior of it. Ah, friends. There's one. And all I need to do is uh, remove somebody's leg. And they pretty much get the idea that you're not one to be messed around with. They don't they don't armor their legs for some reason. He's chop a leg off him. He's all done. Power of the sword, baby. So when you're building over here, let's say you want to build your home here and surround it, or you want to build, I don't know, whatever building you want to build. <clears throat> You'll want to come over, say, maybe over here, like this, and just build a wall, okay? Build a wall. And then put spikes on one end of it. So that way, if you're overwhelmed, you have a place to run to, and you could climb up on it, make it a make it a two-story wall. Uh, uh, a two -side, so build a wall here, and then move over a little bit, build a wall here, and put a uh, ramp on it, or a zip line or something, and get up on top of the wall, and put some spikes on, going that way, and some spikes going this way, and then you have a little walkway between the two, and uh, you can just stand on the walkway, and shoot arrows down at them. It's not that difficult. All right. If you're just trying to build and sleep and all that kind of stuff without having proper protection, you're going to get smacked around something fierce. You, you just are. It's, there's nothing you could do about it. Right? If you don't have a home, and the other thing you could do is, you know, obviously if you're going to build over here, just build on the island. You got a place to sleep. You could build a home there if you want. In the winter time, you could. You could build a uh, you could build a huge base there, just right on that island. You know, you could build a huge base on the on the lake, or around it, or even on the lake when it's winter time. You could come in and start putting a spike wall around it, and then you can you know build as big as you want. You could expand the spike wall. So wherever you're building, let's say you're okay. I've got this building done, and then I I want to build over here. I want to add another building, but you still got your protected area over here. You know, you've got a wall, another wall here, and then you've got a walkway on top with spikes sticking out of the sides. You just jump over there. It's it's not that difficult of a it's not that difficult to do. It's not that difficult of a concept. You can put some traps in. I would try to get the next thing that I would try to do is go grab the helicopter trap, grab that thing, and uh, uh, that's for the um, slinky monster. Uh, the big blob monster. Oh, friends. More friends. Hey, come. You want to play? So, yeah, you want to play? Do you want to play? He just wants to play. He's giving us a tickle. He's giving us a tickle. Oh, let's try the crossbow. I want to see how many shots it takes killing with the crossbow. Shoot him in the head. There he goes. Does he die? Yep, one crossbow bolt. Well, I did. I did slash him a few times with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, katana. So he might have. That might have been additive damage. Uh there's so many, and there's so many great building spots in this game. Uh, like I said, we're going to continue on playing, but I'm not going to be. This will not be my main building focus um i like huh, i just don't want to be dead i don't want, i just want to build and have cannibals attack me every now and again that's fine but if you want to go for the hardcore build stuff yeah you can completely do it you just got to be more careful you got to set yourself up for success and if you don't do that early on 
you're going to get bit in the butt. This is going to happen. And you can see how, see how effective the katana is. Four enemies, no problem. They didn't even take my armor. It was the big guy. And uh, spike walls. Build a couple spike walls around where your, build, your big build projects are. Get a couple traps. You're golden. And then you can just build as you want. We'll, we'll do those as examples when we move. I'm going to be moving the base. Uh, and we'll build a complete, a complete larger base, I think. Something really cool. But, um, like I said, this is not going to be our, the mainstay on the channel. It's more of a, more of a thing that I want to do whenever I'm you know, kind of, oh, I want, I want a harder, hard, harder playthrough challenge. We'll do that. <coughs> and from here, you can finish, you could absolutely finish the game from right here, uh, if you wanted to. But that is all up to you. You can do it, you can do it however you want. And that is a, and, uh, we're about 30 minutes in, so... Hope you found this useful so far. Just go in the order that we went in for all the caves to grab all your items. And uh, get your crossbow. Get your katana. You're all set. You're all set. And then think of, once you have all that, then you can think about, then you can really think about building in the game. Otherwise, you're just trying to beat your head against the wall. And you, know, you lack resources. You lack a place to go, you know, to to uh, defend against. You know, this is a great this is a great area to farm bones from. Just stand here and let the idiots run up against the wall. <laughs> Throw them in your burn pile. And we got a bunch of bones, and you do that. And now that we have um, now that we have a great area here, and we'll come back and. Um, take some of the items and move it to the new base, you know, little bits at a time. But uh, I want to find a, a nice place to build. Uh, I don't want to build the, around the lakes. I've already been there, and I don't want to build around this lake. I've already been here. So we'll find another spot to build at that I might enjoy. So I hope you found all of the cave crawling useful. I absolutely hate it, cave crawling, but we, we got through it. We got through it. Uh, Biting our tongues. That's going to do it for this one. And we shall see you next time.